Mr. Chairman and members of the National Working Committee, very many of you in this National Working Committee have interacted with me politically and otherwise for a very, very long time. I don't have to tell you what I am, what qualifications I have, what experience I have, and what I can do for this party, for this country. Of course, when I declared to run for the president of this country, I said I was going to emphasize on five key issues. And these five key issues are germane. I said I was going to make sure that I reunite this country. And that was why I referred myself as the unifier. And secondly, I said I was going to deal decisively with security issues because there has to be rule of law, there has to be security before anything else. Members of the National Working Committee, you also know I also promised to deal with the economy. Of course, after you have achieved unity and you have achieved peace, the next is to deal with the economy. And you know, Mr. Chairman, and very many of your colleagues here on the National Working Committee, know that when we came into office in 1999, we virtually met a similar situation like we have today. Nigeria was indebted. We had no foreign reserves. Our economy was in shambles. Mr. Chairman, and very many of you here who are in that government know that by the time we left, we left Nigeria in the most healthiest economic position. We have done it before, Mr. Chairman. We can do it again. Of course, I also said in my declaration speech, I was also going to deal with the issue of devolving more powers and resources to the states. Because I believe that is the best way to get Nigeria developed to its fullest capacity by giving autonomy and resources to the various components to make sure that this country is developed to its fullest potentials. Mr. Chairman and members of the National Working Committee, I'm really not here to lecture you. I'm just really here to inform you of my decision to run again and also to urge you to provide the right kind of leadership so that the best candidate can emerge. And um, I dare say, Mr. Chairman, I am the best candidate. Mr. Chairman, under normal circumstances, this is a guy who has already 11 million votes in his kitchen. And I think, and I think as a party, you should give me the right of first refusal. But we are in a democracy. All what I can urge you is to make sure that the way you have started, you also conclude the way you have started. By being very fair, very credible, giving every contestant the opportunity to face the electorate. So let me thank you very much indeed for giving me this opportunity. And once again, I want to commend you for the excellent leadership you have so far given to this party. By giving this party this excellent relationship means that this country should also expect an excellent leadership from the People's Democratic Party. God bless you all. Thank you.